boys and girls, it's Miss Jenny here to bring you another stay at home story time. Let's start off by saying hello to all our friends out there. Can you sing the hello song with me? Okay, let's do it together. Here we go. Hello everybody, how are you? How are you? How are you? Hello everybody, how are you? How are you today? Hello everybody, touch your head, touch your head, touch your head. Hello everybody, touch your head, touch your head with me. Hello everybody, tap your shoulders, tap your shoulders, tap your shoulders. Hello everybody, tap your shoulders, tap your shoulders with me. Hello everybody, pat your knees, pat your knees, pat your knees. Hello everybody, pat your knees, pat your knees with me. Hello everybody, reach for your feet, reach for your feet, reach for your feet. Hello everybody, reach for your feet and have a seat with me. Thanks for singing that with me, boys and girls. You know the reason I start off with that song? Not only to say hello to you, but to get you up and moving. You know, movement is just important, too, for you to be, learn to read. It gets your brains going. It gets your energy juices going. Get you all ready to hear a story. Remember last week I read to you this story, Rosie's Walk by Pat Hutchin? And Rosie toured all over the farm, and there was a pesky fox that was following her and having so many difficulties in this story. Well then, Pat Hutchins, after she wrote this story years ago, decided, hmm, I wonder if Rosie the hen had a baby chick. So she decided to write a story about Rosie and her chick. And the name of the book is Where, Oh Where is Rosie's Chick? So in this story, we're going to look to see where her chick is. And by the way, in this story, spoiler alert a little bit, the chick is following Rosie. She doesn't see the chick. And somebody else is following Rosie and her chick in the story. So look very closely at the pictures and see if you can see who that is. You ready? Okay. Where, oh where, is Rosie's chick? I don't know if you can see, but my dog Hercules is here again today. He liked Rosie's so much, he wanted to hear more about her. Here we go. Hooray! Rosie the hen has laid her egg. And at last, her egg is hatching. Do you see her egg right there? Do you see it? Okay. Oh, but oh no. Where? is her little baby chick. Do you guys see it? Hmm. Rosie doesn't. She's going to go hunting for her baby chick. Here we go. Whoops. Oh, my page is stuck. <gasps> Rosie looks under her hen house. Oh, does she see her chick? She's not looking very good, is she? baby chick isn't there. Hmm. She looks in the basket. Hmm. But her little chick isn't there. Do you see where her little chick is? Oh, here is it. Let's see where else Rosie's going to look. She looks behind the wheelbarrow. But her little baby chick isn't there either. Did you see her little baby chick? By the pond. Oh, look at the fish. She looks across the fields. Look at Rosie. She's even going up the ladder in the apple tree. There's her baby chick. Oh, look. Can you see? Can you see who else is following? Just like in the last story, Rosie's Walk. But she still can't find her little 
baby chick. Do you see a baby chick? Look at that baby chick hasn't fully hatched. She has the egg on her head. She looks through the straw, but her little baby chick isn't there either. <gasps> Look where the baby chick is, up in the apple tree, right where her mom had been. box again, isn't it? Where, oh where, is Rosie's little baby chick? Do you see it? Oh no, and there's the box. All her friends and their baby chicks say, can you help y'all out with me? Rosie finally sees her baby chick and her baby chick's other part of the egg come off. And look who else is there. Oh, look at the fox had a baby fox. Oh. Well, let's see what happens. Are they going to go off and walk together? They are. Now Rosie and her little baby chick go for a walk, wing and wing. Who else is going for a walk with them? And look where they're heading. Uh-oh. Now the last time Rosie walked under that beehive, what happened? <gasps> they're fine. But what are the bees gonna do? Do you think they remember those boxes? Oh. Well, that's the end. Oh. Thanks for listening to that story. That story's called a sequel because it's a story after the first story. So now you've heard two books that come in order together. Okay, guys, we're going to sing a song about Rosie. So you guys know the song, because I know you do. We've sing it, sang it in story time before. Old, um, there was a farmer had a dog named Bingo. Well, we're going to change it to Rosie. We're going to say, there was a farmer had a hen, and Rosie was her name. R-O. R-O-S-I-E. Because that spells Rosie. And when I take a letter away, we're going to clap for that letter, just like we do in bingo, okay? You guys ready? Okay, here we go. Let's put all the letters back up. And when I put the letters down here, that's when we're going to clap the letter, okay? So like when I put the R down here, we're going to go O, S, I, E. And then when I put the letter O down here, S, I, E, okay? Got it? Okay, I think you'll get it as we go along. Okay, let's put all my letters back up. Some of them are up here. We're going to say them. When they're down here, we're going to clap on those letters. Okay, here we go. Ready? There was a farmer had a hen, and Rosie was her name. R O R O S I E R O S I E R O S I E, and Rosie was her name. O Okay, now we're gonna move the letter R down and we're gonna clap on R and sing these letters. Okay, ready? There was a farmer had a hen and Rosie was her name. Oh, O S I E, O S I E, O S I E, and Rosie was her name. Oh. Okay, now we're gonna move down the letter O and how many times are we gonna clap this time? One, two for the R and the O. There was a farmer had a hen and Rosie was her name of S-I-E, 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 and Rosie was her name of. Okay, we're going to move the S down. Now how many times are we going to clap? One, two, three. Okay, here we go. There was a farmer had a hen and Rosie was her name of R-I-E. I-E, I-E, and Rosie was her name, oh. Okay, we're gonna move one more letter down. Now, how many times are we gonna clap? One, two, three, four. And then we'll just sing the letter E. There was a farmer had a hen, and Rosie was her name, oh. E, E, and Rosie was her name, oh. Okay, now we're going to take the E down. Now how many times are we going to clap? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, here we go. 
There was a farmer had a hen and Rosie was her name. Oh. And Rosie was her name. Oh. Thanks guys for doing that with me today. That was so fun. And you know what? You can change this song around. You know what? You could do this song with the letters in your name at home. You might have to expand the tune a little bit, but you can do this at your house too for fun. But right now, guys, oh, thanks for coming to my story time, but I'm looking at the time. It's time to go. So let's do our goodbye wave. Wave high. Wave low. I think it's time we've got to go. Wiggle your fingers. Wink your eyes. And blow a kiss. And wave goodbye. Until next time, boys and girls, have a great day.